for those wonderful testimonies and answered prayers tonight. Let's lift up our two hands to heaven and celebrate the name of the Lord for his mighty presence in our midst. For the wonders of his love in confirming his word again and again. Give him thanks and praise and celebrate him. Thank you, Jesus. We return all the glory to you tonight for doing what you have promised to do. In the name of Jesus Christ. That is why you are called Jehovah. We sing this song with confidence. It's a covenant keeping God. Whatever he says, he does. You can't commit to his commandment and not have something to show. We serve a covenant keeping God. Those awesome testimonies are there to be replicated for those who are in need of them. Anything that seems to be persistent, tormenting, torturing your life, will clear off like a dream of the night. Yeah. What he says he will do, that's what he will do. Seek you first my kingdom and all these things that others are dying to get, they shall be added to you. That's why you are called Jehovah. That is why you are called Jehovah. Lift up your hands and worship him. That is why you are called Jehovah. Who wants to save you with you? That is why you are called That is why you are called Jehovah. We call you Lift up your two hands to heaven. Lord Jesus, speak to me tonight. Fire me up again. And grace me anew. Stir up a new revival in my soul. And grace me in my pursuit at this time. Change my story as a result. Change my story again as a result. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Amen. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we stand here tonight to acknowledge your presence in our midst and the validity of this move of the Spirit. And thank you for diverse testimonies we have been hearing. And now I pray tonight that each one will have a genuine encounter with you. Amen. And that be the encounter of tonight, the remaining days of this month, shall be awesomely fruitful. Yeah. It shall leave us with things to talk about. Yeah. Each one shall have testimonies to show yeah. in the name of Jesus Christ. Yeah. Give the Lord a big hand of praise and please you may be seated.
uh, these inspired thoughts running through my spirit tonight. No one ever heartily pursues God at a loss. See after me, no one ever heartily pursues God at a loss. No one ever heartily pursues God at a loss. Every hearty pursuit of God leads to high profiting. Come on now, let's say it together. Every hearty pursuit of God leads to high level profiting. I pray that the pursuit of this season will lead to high level profiting in everyone's life. All we need to do is to let our pursuit be from the heart. For who is he that engaged his heart to seek unto me, said the Lord? He will emerge a noble in his pursuit. He will emerge a governor, a captain in his field. No one ever heartily pursues God at a loss. For the pursuit of God is profitable unto all things, having the promise of the life, now, life which now is and the one which is to come. No one ever heartily pursues God at a loss I don't mean going to church I mean the pursuit of God's plan and purpose the pursuit of what touches God the pursuit of the advancement of his kingdom on earth no one ever does that heartily and end up a loser For the young lions may suffer want and hunger, but they that seek the Lord shall not lack what? Any good thing. Psalm 34 and verse 10. And you shall seek for me and find me when you shall search for me with all your heart. Jeremiah 29 and verse 13. No one ever heartily pursues God at a loss. With my soul have I desired it in the night. And with the whole of my spirit within me will I seek thee early. For when thy judgments are in the earth, the inhabitants of the world will learn righteousness. When you confirm your word in my life, the proud will know I'm not wasting my life. With my soul have I desired thee, and with my whole spirit within me will I seek thee. And as I do, mm, you will count me faithful, and you will make me fruitful. And the inhabitants of the world will learn righteousness, that it pays to follow God. It pays to seek God. It pays to follow God, and it pays to seek God. No one ever heartily pursues God at a loss. No one ever, please take note of this. You will need it for life. I'm not perfect. I'm walking towards perfection. But my entire heart is in what I'm doing. God knows, the devil knows. I'm not playing games. My entire being is in what I'm doing. I would rather die than take God lightly. It's my reason for living. Every
everyone that pursues God heartily will end up a noble among people. We end up tops in his pursuit. And that's the secret of the making of giants in the kingdom of God. Number two, no one ever pursues God truthfully at a loss. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and its righteousness. Seek ye first the interest of the kingdom of God at its varied demands. And all these things shall be added unto you. Take the example of Joseph. He lived his life in truthful pursuit of God. He landed in the prison as a result, but galloped out of prison to the palace like a dream of the night. No one ever pursues God truthfully and end up a trash. The pursuit of God, the true pursuit of God decorates destinies. We saw Joseph's destiny decorated. I shall arise and have mercy upon Zion for the time to favor her. Yea, the said time has come. For thy servants take pleasure in the stones of Zion and favor the very dust thereof. Therefore, so then the heathen shall fear the name of the Lord and all the kings of the earth thy glory. The truthful pursuit of God will turn a dummy to the envy of his world. You haven't seen anything yet. Things that nobody can imagine about you and even yourself can imagine about yourself, they're about to start taking place in your life. Be truthful in your pursuit. Don't engage in eye service. Don't take you anywhere. Be truthful in your pursuit. It's not about your public appearance, it's about your fruitful investment. I mean, uh, <laughs> you mean all this season will pass and there's no one convert to show and you are still a part of the system and you carry some titles perhaps. And you think the title will now help you to be anything? No, no, no. Titles are mere adjectives of convenience. You can call yourself anything, if you are, particularly if you are in a drama group. Anything can be called the uh, uh, Chief Justice of Uganda. Amen. That's what you are on the stage. As soon as you come back, you have become yourself in Nigeria. Amen. Secretary United Nations. Then you come down. Like Ban Ki-moon, you move. And then by the time you come out of that place, you come banking yourself. Amen. No one ever pursues God faithfully and end up a failure. There is no failure in this church. The pursuit of God that we have a privilege to engage with since the wonderful agenda began, we turn stars out of every seeming failure. If you believe that's you, let me hear your loudest amen. amen. Therefore, be faithful. Be faithful to him. Be faithful to him. It is him you are serving. Be faithful to him. Be faithful to him. Flow of blood for over two years. Continuous flow of blood. Became worse over one year ago. And dried up as if it never happened before. Every concern of your life will disappear as if they never happened. It is required of stewards that a man... Be found faithful. No one pursues God faithfully and end up a failure. 
Luke 19 and verse 17 to 19. In the parable of the talent, we saw what faithful pursuit we deliver. And he said unto the first one, Thou good servant, because thou hast been faithful over a very, in a very little, have thou authority over ten cities. Every faithful pursuit will always lead to a lifting, a change of level. Then he said to the second one, you have been faithful in a very little. Be thou over five cities. Levels keep, change, levels keep changing with faithfulness. Our faithful pursuit will always lead into change of levels. Therefore, be faithful. Don't be there because you occupy an office in church. Be there because you can't the privilege to be part of this move of the Spirit. It will always lead to change of levels. When we are on the go for the advancement of the kingdom of God, whether on the prayer altar or and in soul winning, we commit God to establish partnership with us. Go to all the world, and he went with them, walking signs and wonders through them. Everyone on the go for Christ enjoys automatic partnership with them. Automatic partnership with them. Mark 16, 15, and 20. But we must remain in active service to sustain this partnership. We must renew it because we have to be on the go to secure and sustain that partnership. We have to. He said, go to the world and teaching them, making disciples of men, teaching them to observe all that I've told you to do. And lo, I am with you always, even to the end of the world. I'm with you all as long as you are on the go. My partnership is guaranteed. I will always accompany you on the go. As long as you are on the go, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. So we can't pray down partnership. We just subscribe to what guarantees partnership. It is being committed to the expansion and the advancement of his kingdom that guarantees our partnership with him. This is so important. Now we understand God so loved the world he gave his only begotten son. And that the son also so loved the world he gave his own life. And if we so love God, then we must commit to that core interest of God on the earth. And that is salvation of men and women. Praise God. And when that happens, we enjoy automatic partnership with God. I mean, amazing benefits will turn out of it. So for our evening prayer services, we'll be looking at wonders of partnership with God is unfathomable. You can't be in partnership with God and be beaten in any battle of life. The three Hebrew boys won't let God go and God won't let them go. He won't let them die. Amen. As they got into the fire, he got there before them. Come, Jerry. This can't burn you until he burns me. This fire must burn me first before it burns you. They were an automatic partnership with God. Wherever you find them, you find God. Because they are God's representatives in Babylon. They were representing his interests day in, day out. In fact, the king God shared that mission and obeyed Nebu. Servants of the Most High God come out of the fire. <laughs> Ye servants of the Most High God, they knew who they were, <laughs> they had an identity with God right there in that land. They cast them to the fire and I tell you, God, their partner was there with them. And if God be for you, who can be against you? Partnership with God makes you more than a conqueror. Those young men were more than conquerors. They were, there was no smell of fire on their lives. God is talking to someone here. Let me hear your loudest amen. amen. Today we look at these two lines. Partnership with God makes a believer more than a conqueror. That um, testimony clearly defines that. You can't push the fire. You can't 
harass the fire. Something higher than the fire must be there for you not to be consumed. And our God is a consuming fire. Their partner came in there and consumed the heat of the fire. So they were like in a drama. Because their great unbeatable partner was with them. The last battle you lost is the last we ever lose. As long as you remain in partnership with God by remaining on the go for Christ in the pursuit of the expansion of his kingdom, there will be no end to testimonies in your life. Amen. That's the way it works. When the disciples, while the disciples were in partnership with Christ, devils were subject to them in his name. They came back and said, even devils were subject to us in your name. <laughs> he said, don't rejoice because of that, but just because your name is written in the book of life. I gave you power when I sent you to tread upon serpents and scorpions and over all the powers of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. Partnership with God makes you live above all hearts. Now hear this. You never suffer any hurt anymore in your life yeah. somebody believe that let me hear you loud and say amen yeah. why because you have chosen to be in partnership with god and to remain so and as long as you are that's the end of it partnership with christ Compares devils to be subject to us. Compares all devils to be subject to us. So every assault of the enemy, you see them no more again forever. Amen. And all we need is to treasure our partnership with Christ and begin to invest increasingly into it. Live above our hearts. You live above or hot. Secondly, we saw Daniel. He enjoyed partnership with God to the extent that even lions could not dare his flesh. Hungry lions. You know how hungry they were when they threw those enemies in there? Before they got down, the lions jumped up to catch them. Before they touched the depth of the den, boom, we have been hungry all this time. Yet Daniel just galloped out of that place. No scratch of the claws of the lion on his flesh. There was no struggle whatsoever. That was more than the conqueror means. He wasn't fighting, yet he was winning. That was more than the conqueror means. <laughs> now, the three Hebrew boys, there was no smell of fire on them. Now, Daniel came out sleeping all night with hungry lion. They just turned to pets. He was touching their hair. Your, your hair looks short. What happened? Did somebody bite you? <laughs> Amen. That is the humor, the color, the beauty, and the glory of partnership with God. Don't die in man as in partnership with God. You just die for nothing. You die for nothing. You don't know how many witches have died now on your behalf for attempting your life. They just fry away. They can't find them again. Amen. You can't tell how many witches are falling down on this ground, Canaan land, because of the dominant presence of God. Come and say, dominant presence. Amen. Amen. <laughs> no dominant. Dominant. Come here. Come and check. You want to challenge it? Come. You are free. Come. Say, no, 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 I'm not free. We had a story in our home um, years ago in... Um, U.S., the man of God, T.L. Osborne, came to visit. My wife was there at that time, and then he said he saw the devil uh, on that street, and one of the demons that came along with him, his bodyguards, <laughs> was trying to enter a house, and Satan looked and said, what? Get up from that place! What are you doing there? He said, while the devil was busy doing something else, that demon tried to go back there. Have I not warned you? Get out of that place. And he analyzed what that meant. 
I mean, was talking of that in his old age. He came visiting practically. And he said, the Lord showed him a vision. There are places devils don't dare. That's where you are getting for now. This partnership is enlisting you in that army. <laughs> you are among the people that the devil will not dare again. Now you can ask all the demons in Babylon how they felt about Shedra, Meshach, and Abednego. Miserable. About Daniel. Say, don't mention his name, please. Don't mention his name. They all went to that den. The lion said, I can't touch him. If you too can, you are the devil. Touch him. But for me, I can't touch him. Can't you see what I see? You can't see the glory that covers him. Touch him now. It's the same glory covering you right now. Yeah. What tears others will live in your fear and your dread? Yeah. What assaults order will stay clear from you? Yeah. Because you are in partnership with God. Now, Daniel was a notable servant of God. Daniel is thy God whom thou servest is a servant of the living God. Come and say, My God is alive. Is thy God whom thou servest continually? Say with me, continually. It's not whom thou servest last year. <laughs> whom thou servest continually, it means currently. <laughs> Able to deliver you from lions? I always say, My God has sent his angels. <laughs> And they have shut the lion's mouth and they have not hurt me for as much as before him. Innocence was found in me. And also before the O king, have I done no hurt? <laughs> Continually, mark that word. Continually. Now you saw guys here now, been in, uh, been serving God now for the past 17 years. He hasn't done anything for me, so I've stopped. <laughs> lion says it's very good to stop. I've been trying to tear you before. I can't reach you. Now I'm available. Don't. Grace for continuity in your still worship. Receive it now. Yeah. Somebody with flow of blood and that could know weakness. They were praying one hour every day. This thing I just started. Operation just started. And God has given them a change of level. You must secure several changes of levels. In this operation six, six, seven, eight, yeah. by giving all of yourself to whatever you are asked to do, and that is simply maintain an unbroken one hour of investment in prayers every day, and with your prayer uh, intercessory guidelines, you don't have no, you don't need to even carry a Bible, just carry your note because God will speak to you while you are praying. You carry your note and carry your. Uh, intercessory prayer guideline for spiritual church growth and begin to dig it one after the other. There are 60 outlines. Is, even if you read it, it almost takes 60 minutes to go through. And I tell you, you pray 10 at a time. You, you, you feel God yourself. You are not only securing changes and provoking interventions, you are, you, you are provoking changes in your own life. And that's what will happen to you. Praise God. Praise God. Now, from where we started for, from no one ever heartily pursues God at a loss. Too many testimonies in this church, including testimonies from you, but it will never become history. I say yours will never become history. But I used to know God, I used to follow, but somehow um, the way that the uh, person in Sanctuary Keeper treated me, I just felt... Even if I miss God, it doesn't matter. I won't, uh, I won't be part of anything. <laughs> Amen. Nobody will be that stupid in this church. If you see the mockery that we saw, which are actually necessities for the glory, we'll have banged it. But Jesus, who for the joy that was set before him, endured the cross, and despise saying the shame and see him set down at the right hand of the throne of God today. And that's where you are going. Yeah. Don't let the mockers deter you. Fifty cents of the prophet waited on the way to dislodge Elisha from his destiny. Oh boy, come here. Oh. 
after your master is gone, I don't know where you will join. You better join us now. We are warning you. We stone you to death. By the time they return, they bow themselves to the ground before him. Your mockers will soon bow themselves. Yeah. If you won't stop pursuing God and the interest of his kingdom, your mockers will turn back to bow to you. Yeah. Stand to your feet, everybody. From the depth of your heart, grace to sustain partnership with God. For some of us, grace to secure partnership because we don't have it yet. For a number of us, grace to sustain. You need it. You can shout in church. Wait, 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 wait. You got to man. That's the end of it. You never open your Bible once. You never open the prayer guideline once. Grace to secure partnership with God and grace to sustain it. Come on, go ahead and receive it. Go ahead and receive it now. Grace to secure partnership with God and grace to sustain it. Come on, receive it now. Receive it now. Receive it now. Everybody, lift up your two hands and pray. Pray to the God that answers prayers. Father, I ask for grace to secure partnership with you. Grace to secure partnership with you. I ask for grace to secure partnership with you. I ask for grace to secure partnership with you. I ask for grace to secure partnership with you. Redo prete to sir. I ask for grace to secure partnership with you and grace to sustain the same. Tonight, Robeke Tualoza, pray in the spirit, everybody. Lay hold on the comfort of the Holy Ghost, the helper of mankind. Oh, help me to secure and maintain partnership with you. For that is what makes a man more than a conqueror. Grace to secure and maintain partnership with you. I receive it today. Grace to maintain and secure partnership with you. I receive it today. Grace to maintain and secure partnership with you. I receive it today. Lift up your two hands, saints. Pray that prayer over your life. Blessed be your name, Jesus. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Amen. Partnership with God is our platform for security, our platform for security of destiny, security of posterity and eternity. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, no one here will lose his partnership with God. Amen. I pray that this year will mark the beginning of that new realm of life for you. Yeah. And that will establish your being more than a conqueror in every battle of life. Yeah. So shall it be. Yeah. Give the Lord a big hand of praise. Get seated, please. Very quickly tonight, we will be asking those of us who are here who are yet to be saved. That is where the journey to partnership begins. You don't partner with the dead. You partner with the living. So wherever you are right now, you want to give your life to Christ. You want to have eternal life so you can be a candidate for partnership with God. Wherever you are, please stand to your feet and I'll pray with you. God bless you. Everyone that wants to give his life to Christ, please stand. You want your sins forgiven? Stand to your feet right now. This is your chance for a change of story. God bless you. Stand to your feet wherever you are. You want to give your life to Christ tonight, please stand to your feet. Not only here, but all across our various viewing centers, the zona centers tonight. Just get up on your feet if you are there. Now, there are also people that need to rededicate their lives to Christ. Amen. That's the only sense of revival. Reconnecting back to God. Wherever you are, you want to rededicate your life to Christ and become a bona fide beneficiary of the blessings of this season, please stand to your feet. You want to dedicate your life to Christ, please stand to your feet. God bless you. Stand to your feet wherever you are. 
you want to dedicate your life to Christ, please stand to your feet. Somebody else needs to get up wherever you are. Get up right now. This is the time to make it right with God. This is the time to reconnect with God. Please get up on your feet. Glory to God. All of us who are standing in this course, please make your way to the front right here. And I'll be praying with you in a moment. Church, give the Lord a big hand. In all divine centers, please approach the altar area right now. This is your chance for a change of story. Approach the altar area right now. This is your chance for a change of story. Please come in front and then face me right here. And I'll be leading you in prayer. Somebody else is coming. Everybody else coming, please make your way straight to the front right now. Make your way straight to the front right now. And be blessed. Jesus is Lord. Glory to God. Amen. I'm, going to, I'm not going to lose my partnership with God. Come on, let me hear you say it. I refuse to lose my partnership with God. You know what Paul said? Who shall separate us from the love of God and St. Christ? That's how much he treasured. It's, it's a tribulation. What? Things present, things to come, life, death, famine, peril, sword. So forget it. This partnership is also of utmost value to me. Yea, in all these things, you may be mocking us. We are more than conquerors. And see how it happened. Treasure your partnership with God and you never lack stories to tell. You never lack stories to tell. Stories of triumph. Stories of breakthroughs. Stories of divine visitation. That shall be the order of the day for you. All of us in front, please bow your heads right now and lift up your right hand to heaven as I lead you in this simple prayer of faith. Would you please pray this prayer from the depth of your heart after me. Say after me, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus, I surrender my life to you tonight. Forgive me all my sins. Wash me with your precious blood. I believe you died for me. On the third day, you rose again that I might be justified. Right now, I believe my sins are forgiven. I'm justified by your blood. I'm saved. I'm born again. I'm restored. I'm now a child of God. I am free from the power of sin to serve the living God. Thank you, Jesus. I now proclaim you as my Lord and my Savior for now and eternity. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Keep your hands up as I pray. Father, I pray over these precious souls, both here in Canaan land and all of our viewing centers. And I ask, Lord, that the same grace that has brought them in today will preserve them for life. Amen. I cover each of you with the precious blood of Jesus. And from now, no more assault of the enemy will have access to your life. Amen. You will run this race to the end. Amen. And in the name of Jesus, your partnership with Christ shall be secured. In Jesus' precious name, amen. Praise the Lord. Congratulations, congratulations. Please walk this way and pass those slips to those kingdom friends and then you get back to your seat. Shall we all stand to our feet? Operation 6678 is a God-ordained platform for our change of levels. And God who sees your investment in secret has vowed to reward you openly. Be expectant of open rewards. Be expectant of open rewards. Because prayer, the, the prayer investment is largely behind the closet. Thank God for what you are doing right now in our corporate prayers. But what obtains outside here is where your level is actually determined. Your level of investment is determined. So grace to invest qualitatively, invest tirelessly behind the scene. I'd like to lift up your two hands and receive that grace. Receive new prayer fire. Holy Ghost, and fire my prayer life into next levels. Holy Ghost, and fire my prayer life into next levels. Let this operation lead to my supernatural change of position. Let this operation lead to my supernatural change of position. Everybody is praying that prayer.
pray the prayer. Anoint me afresh with the spirit of prayer and supplication. The spirit of grace and supplication. Anoint me afresh today. Pour a fresh prayer oil on my life. And grace me for maximum prayer investment behind the scene. Pray that prayer from the depth of your heart, everybody. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Your worst enemy and my worst enemy, when, I'm when we are closest to our point of change, is distraction. And I cause every siege of every trap and siege of distraction from everyone's life. I release grace to be focused upon everyone's life. Yeah. I pray that before this month is over, your change of position has been openly established. Yeah. No matter where you may be today, as you pray these kingdom advancement prayers, kingdom expansion, kingdom promotion prayers, I decree that God who sees you in secret will reward you openly. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Blessed be your name in the name of Jesus. Wave those hands to heaven. Celebrate his faithfulness in the name of Jesus. Celebrate his faithfulness in the name of Jesus. Please listen to this. We prayed for signs and wonders in our service on Sunday, and we saw them raw. Everything we pray for this season, they will be answered before our very eyes. And among the things that will be answered is God adding to you Amen. things that you have been struggling for all your life. Amen. To validate Matthew 6, 33. So we have the flyers. I think we have the flyers here. Those fellows in charge of these flyers, please make sure that they are present in all services morning and evening we are in a revival don't be asleep praise the lord praise the lord why we're reaching out to everyone in love jesus answers prayers here is this turning head here we are still in our month of total restoration of health and everybody's health shall be duly restored in the name of jesus christ so please in all of the zonal centers make sure that you have these flyers every evening and in all the prayer Covenant Hour of Prayer Centers will have them every morning. We want to spread the good news that Jesus is healing and setting free here. Jesus is Lord. Lift up those two hands. Thank God again for the encounter of today. And thank God for the grace to pray again tonight in the name of Jesus. Give him praise and glory. Lift your voice to heaven and begin to give him thanks. Celebrate him, appreciate him, glorify the name of the Lord. He's worthy of all the praise. Worthy of all the praise. Worthy of all the glory. Worthy of all the honor. Celebrate him, glorify him. He's a faithful God. He's a faithful God. He's a faithful God. Are you giving him thanks? Are you giving him the glory? Celebrate him is worthy, worthy of all praise, worthy of all the glory. Are you giving God thanks? Stretch your hand towards heaven and glorify the name of the Most High God. Father, we give you the praise. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' precious name we have prayed.
we'll be sharing the goodness right now but the, the flyers are available you pick up the copies that are required as you go let's share the goodness surely god's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives and we shall dwell in the presence of the lord forever amen peace from glory to glory and from glory to glory congratulations you are blessed